This is Trust the Profits 10 Minute Rundown. Here's your hosts, El Hombre and The Formula. Trust the Profits 10 Minute Rundown. I'm The Formula, joined with El Hombre. El Hombre, how's it hanging? Going well, man. What up? What up? I am just recounting uh, what happened this past weekend. We had the Florida Derby, of course, who could forget, and yeah. the Jeff Ruby Stakes. And we had some surprises this past weekend, didn't we? Yeah, I, I airballed on both races, uh, bet wise. I had a really, I think we had a good overall day as far as um, uh, picks went, especially for yeah. exotic horizontals. But on the two big races, True. we airballed. But yeah, what did yeah. you see? What did you see? Let's start with the Ruby Stakes. What did you see there? Yeah, with the Ruby Stakes, um, I, I went into that not expecting to see any horse that was going to be in the top 10 for me. And the way it ended up, you know, the, the two the two big horses are the two favorites, Tarantino and, and the great one who, or the great one or Gretzky the Great? Gretzky the Great. Gretzky the Great. <laughs> I know there's get those two, two mixed up. Right, exactly. Um, neither one of them really in the picture. Uh, we had Sainthood and Hockey Dad being beaten by... Um, like the King. Like, like the, the King, King was on top. DVD in the saddle for the first time for like the king looked yep. really good out there. Son of Palace Malice, who's a monster from yeah, yeah, uh, pretty much a new horse for us in terms of top twenty-five. So it wasn't one that we were expecting to be in the winner's circle. And uh, given the competition, I didn't really move the bar much for me in terms of where we place him for the Kentucky Derby. On the other side, though, Florida Derby greatest honor was going in as a top three horse for both of us a horse that we both talked up as being like a top five derby contender at the end of this thing and came in third place right i mean we knew we knew there would be uh some competition in there there was i think three or four horses in my top 25 in that race so it wasn't like he was racing with easy company but i just all the numbers added up and they did the eyeball test for me everything added to i don't think he was going to get beat yeah. I talked a lot of trash. Uh, I just thought because a lot of people were underestimating him, I thought they were right. I mean, I'll admit mm-hmm. when I'm wrong. I'm a big mouth at times, but I'll admit when I'm wrong. And that horse, I was watching another uh, podcast last night. They were talking about, and I, and I know they were being honest too, because they've been saying, this is not, you know, the, the Florida horses are not strong this year. So huh. yeah. Ray Dishonor hadn't beat anybody really and. Now, now the question is, has no agenda beat anybody? <laughs> He's the winner, and um, he beat gr- Greatest Honor. And yeah. uh, Soup and a effing Sandwich, which is the worst name ever. I just, I don't even want to have to talk about that horse just because based on the name alone. But the horse Sounds delicious. Right and strong. Yeah, yeah. Spielberg was in that race. Papa 2, Nova Rags, Collaborate. But like you said, do we know? You can say that about any of these regionals, right? How do we know how strong any of them are until the top of each one of those regions faces each other, right? How do we know about the you know, north, northeast region, right? If we're, we're looking up at Aqueduct and all the horses that have won their stakes races out there, how do we know if one yeah. of those can compete with the California horses, right? It's Yeah, I agree. It's I tough to make that call either way. I guess if you look at times, right? Yeah, and not really because I mean conditions and track and there's a lot of factors, man. That's they what makes only this go so fun. hard if they have to stuff, you know. And uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I just thought greatest, you know. And admittedly, we were wrong. Greatest honor admittedly. did not win easily. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> put your foot in your mouth once in a while. We did. We did, however, have um, no agenda in second. Yeah. Uh, and in our exactas and everything, so it wasn't like we completely missed it. It was just that we missed our top choice one of our formulas did have it number one but we have like about eight formulas that make up that whole equation so obviously greatest honor took the other ones yeah everybody we had on our live stream the other night which was about 20 people nobody hit that big four except for us yeah luckily we did have uh we went three deep in the florida derby most people were singling or or going two. so anyhow yeah let's talk about how that it helped both of those races impacted the top 25. Um, top 25. Obviously, greatest honor fill for both of us. Yeah, Spoiler how far how far, how far did he fall? Um, and I'm going to assume that the producer can zoom this in for us here a little bit. <laughs> but um, I dropped him down to number eight. Number I eight. He's still worthy of a, um, yeah. a horse that can hit the board in the Kentucky Derby, to be honest with you. I mean, he, he needs the trip. He needs the pace to set up for him. 
Um, but he's shown that he can he can close with a massive with a massive speed. That yeah, um, I mean it just it's it, he needs the race to set up for him, which is yeah. unlikely. But in that race, he did get pinned back on the rail and not the front horse in the rail. Right, um, he wasn't. It wasn't really challenging. I, I forget which horse was in front of him. It may have been known agenda who was on the rail. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but he did not have a clean trip. Did not have a clean trip. Uh, not the best race for him. If if you get something like Authentic had last year in the Derby, where he starts outside and can jet up to the front and get a clean nose of air, who knows? Maybe it's Greatest Honors Day. Um, Unlikely that I, either of those, out, in my opinion, either of those <laughs> horses are going to win the Kentucky Derby. But. Yeah, exactly. Agreed. And, and but I would you be shocked if they did, though? I, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No, I wouldn't be shocked. No. Those two. I don't think anybody else out of I, the, this past weekend has a shot. But I don't I, have the feeling going into the Kentucky Derby that there are. I mean, we've got two horses that we put as like one A and one B right now. But having said that. I have them as the favorites. I don't think they're like overwhelmingly f- favorited enough to discount the field and that second tier. I, I don't think you can say, yeah, I, you know, it's those two single the top one, single essential quality, and be done with it for the Derby. I there's just too much with 20 horses to say that that that's the case. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what else happened this past week to impact my top 25. Um, I moved three horses in. Rebels Romance, who won the Dubai World Cup. Oh, and, nice. and impressed and impressed um, a lot of eyes. Uh, I think he's not declared that he's coming, but he has definitely not declared that he's not coming either. So, if that horse comes over here, you gotta you gotta <clears throat> talk about him for sure. Uh, I moved him right into number twelve. Obviously, not knowing much about a horse yeah. that's in United Arab Emirates or Dubai. <laughs> yeah. um, also, this week, I moved in Soup and Sandwich reluctantly, so I think it's the dumbest name maybe of all time. And like the king, the winner uh, from the Ruby Stakes, nice win. Nice win. Uh, will he make any noise in the Derby? Most likely not, but I yeah. think he's he's, uh, he's uh, worthy of a spot. How about you? You also moved three in. Who'd you move in? I moved in like a king as well. I didn't move in anyone who raced recently this week other than like a king i thought he was the only one that was worthy to move into the top 25 i did move in a couple horses that i think may be potential surprises uh may may show well in upcoming races this weekend yeah hush of a storm and hidden stash both in the same race this upcoming weekend and that may give us a good segue to to go into our next topic the three big races this weekend yeah, you can um, see on our tweaking. list. You can see on our list. Uh, the next start columns have yeah. the uh, yellow means that they're racing this weekend. So that tells you yeah. how big the three races are this weekend. Absolutely. We have the Wood Memorial at Aqueduct. We have the Bluegrass Stakes at Keeneland, and we have the San Anita Derby at San Anita. Uh, those yeah. three are basically. I mean, this is the who's who now. We're we're down to the who's who. There's no jokers left. Yeah. There's no more guessing. It's going to be the top three out of each of these three races, plus what the top couple out of the last uh, Florida Derby and Ruby and some of these other uh, smaller ones. But this is it. Yeah, We're going to know the field after this weekend. And we've we've bragged up the fact that we have hit a lot of these Derby prep races, hitting the winner, right? And a lot of that is we're really good. (laughs) But a lot of it, too, is we had some chalky setups, right? Obviously. Um, there were some favorites who were a notch above everyone else, but now we're getting to the point where those favorites are facing each other. And There's it's going to be more nothing wrong with difficult. things happening the way they're supposed to happen once yeah. in a while. Uh, I mean, it, it just shows that we're honest. <laughs> so let's move so, into yeah. the first race. What's the first race you've got for us here? We're going we're gonna to do the, the Wood Memorial, and this is probably going to take me a minute to find the right picture to pull for you. Uh, the Wood Memorial, while you pull it up, I'll, I'll preface it for you. So Look at how quick I was on the draw, though. You're quicker than Damn. I am. Bam. All right, let's talk about it. We got what do we got? We got Wayburn, the winner of the Gotham. Nine right? horses. We got yeah, nine horses. Wayburn, winner of the Gotham. Brooklyn Strong, winner of the Remsen. Risk taking, winner of the Withers. Candyman Rocket, wi- uh, winner of the Sam Davis. And you got Prevalence, an unbeaten colt from uh, Walsh's stable. This is probably one of the toughest races to call yet. I'm not sure if I'm looking at this and thinking that what we've got the, the derby winners. What the hell are you going to do with this? It's, what the hell are we going to do with this one? 
This is I, the biggest group of unknowns uh, out of the three we're going to cover, for sure. Right. And that's because, because, like you said, Prevalence hasn't raced anybody, but he's looked awesome. Exactly. And you've Wayburn. had a lot of these horses that have won big races, but not raced against each other. We've been talking about yep. how we haven't seen Brooklyn Strong and Risk taking since they won their respective races months ago. And they've had opportunities to race at Aqueduct, but um, hasn't happened until now. So now it's, you know, okay, which which one that we saw did we like better? Yeah, I, so. I don't know. I mean, prevalence, we've only seen him run against, you know, run of the mill horses. We haven't seen him run against anybody yeah. of quality. Allowance claiming races. Exactly. Wayburn won the Gotham. That was a, a pretty tame field talent wise, but yeah. That was that was a a stakes race nonetheless, a qualifier. This is gonna be interesting. Um who do you be. see? I think I think you I was gonna say I think you can go down to Candyman Rocket, but Capo Kane, Capo Kane <laughs> yeah. also has uh a little bit of clout coming in here. I don't know the two bottom horses enough to even have an opinion, to be honest. One of them's a yeah, Pletcher yeah. horse who's Pletcher is the kind of the man of the hour right now, coming off the win with no agenda, but Yeah, I, I think it's almost like a coin toss for me between Brooklyn Strong and Prevalence. I, I think what we've seen from Prevalence has been extremely strong in a lot of his races so far, right? Maybe we dropped them down a tad. Like, like I said, we haven't seen the competition. Um, we've had a, had him pretty high. I've dropped Brooklyn Strong down on my list purely because we haven't seen him race in a while, but I just remember being really impressed when I saw him race last time. So I think I'm going to go with winner here, Brooklyn Strong beating Prevalence. And if I'm going to throw another horse in there who, who might give you some value, it's comical to say this because up until like maybe three or four weeks ago, we had Candyman Rocket as being higher on our list. But, you know, since Tampa Bay Derby didn't exactly work out for him, I'm guessing you're probably going to get a pretty good value on Candyman Rocket. So I, I would even say, hey, you know, take a look at him to, uh, to rebound possibly and maybe show up in the money. As many unknowns as there are in this race, I don't, I don't disagree. I would, I'll be honest. I wouldn't be surprised if any any horse in here won outside of the bottom three here on your screen. I think Candyman Rocket wouldn't surprise me. Nikki the Vest is another one who hasn't f faced anybody really. Uh, yeah. But the top four there have all won their last out. They've all won with less than stellar competition, but they won. Yeah. So, the funny thing about the the last three though, look at the trainer on on the top two, Bourbonic and dynamic one Pletcher right top Pletcher who knows what we got there um, we got a horse that came in second at parks recently one that won uh, its maiden and or broke its maiden in uh, aqueduct in uh, March 7th so who knows what what he's got there these are pretty young horses that we haven't seen a lot out of are these one of his you know horses he thinks can qualify or is he just throwing them in there to see what he can do I don't know I don't think you um, put them out there if they didn't have a shot but Right, at the, exactly. same, at the same time, I don't think they do have a shot. But <laughs> I have one more thing about the wood before we move on and a relevant please, metric. Please. It's Nikki the Vest. Cue up the Godfather theme as this horse okay. may have okay. a little extra help up in the booth from our boy Carmine Scarpaglia. It's been a long time since we've heard from Carmine in the black hand. Oh, yeah. I mean, up at Aqueduct this weekend, wouldn't be surprised if there's, you know, some strings being pulled. If this horse wins, uh, it's probably luck, most likely due to some pressure from, uh, you know, the Black Hands, Scarpaglia and the boys. It's Nikki the Vest. If you've never heard of a horse with a more gangster sounding name than that, that's it. Next, what are we doing next? Bluegrass. Next, we're going bluegrass. Um, and guess who's going, baby? Guess who's going to bluegrass? I'm actually in a little bit of a rush right now to get out of. Uh, recording this tonight so i can pack my bags and get on the way but let's do this real quick i got yeah time. so look, look, hold, on, hold on the keeneland jersey what do we got we've got a contest that you are not even aware of this is oh god here we go this is spot the profit okay here's the deal if you spot el hombre at bluegrass take a picture of him tweet it to no, trustee no. profits we will give you our Kentucky Derby picks for free if it is actually him. And the At, formula will give you a twenty dollar bill cash. No, we'll mail, it your, mail it we to your home. <laughs> Trusty profits. Send it there. Hashtag spot the profit. No, if I'll you do can it. do I'll it, it aside, man. If you see me and you actually know who I am, which is highly doubtful, mm -hmm. do say hi. I don't like. I said, I don't, 
I would and, be and take shocked. a picture. I, I will personally in, send you in all of our fame today. and fortune of the prophets. I would be shocked. Right. But please do say hello if you do. So bluegrass. What do we got? Bluegrass. We got, we got a top heavy with essential quality. Who's been my number one since top the Breeders' Cup? Yep. yep. Juvenile champion, unbeaten Southwest Stakes champion. Tap it, Brad Cox. I mean, what are you going to do with this? Is there anybody else in this race? Let's be honest. Not not in the central qualities realm, right? We've got Holly Motivated, who's been highly disappointing. Keep me in mind. We want to see him win, but I've just never seen it happen in one of the big races, right? Uh, Ron Bauer won one big race, El Camino Real, uh, the Royale yeah, with he cheese. Called is that a big call race. He was he was highly impressive, but that was the El Camino. Right, it was the El Camino. Hidden um, stash in the in the Tampa Bay get in second was probably more impressive, to be honest. Uh, hidden exactly. stash is a little bit of a sleeper to me. So my my two and three horses are Hidden Stash and Hush of a Storm. Um, I think if you're going to get any value with this and you want to pin Essential Quality in and you want to build a box, I would say Essential Quality with Hidden Stash, Hush of a Storm. That's your best way to go. I think those are probably the the two best bets. And with highly motivated, keep me in mind and Rumbauer. Um, they'll probably eat up that next tier in yeah. terms of odds, and you, you probably will get a good value on Hidden Stash and Hush of a Storm. Is essential qu essential quality is going to go off like two to five, honestly. I, it's that's that's the number I had in mind the next, too. It, the next, it might be less than that. It might be one to nine. Who knows? Highly motivated and keep me in mind will be in the three to four to one area, I think. Yeah. Rombauer probably like six to eight to one, and the rest of those will be huge prices. But I, I can't imagine anyone's looking at this and thinking that anyone else is going to win outside of essential quality. Unless the they've got I'm, some ace up their sleeve, which we don't and see. And I will be there. The only way I'm betting this race is a single at the end of a pick five. I mean, this. Yeah. Unless I can. Unless the odds are significantly different than I think they're going to be, but they won't be unless. No. Nah. I mean, there's nobody in here that's going to touch him. Um, yeah. With that said, if anybody is going to beat him, who's it going to be in your opinion? I <laughs> probably one of the two horses I mentioned. Um, I'll go out on a limb and say Hush of a Storm. I, Hush of a Storm, I believe, is, uh, is Hush of a Storm unbeaten. I don't have it in my notes right now. Won the Bataglia uh, a while back. Maybe there's something there, but I I just don't see the other horses who are going to be rated above him having a, a, a chance yeah, to win. Quality. He's going to have to stumble out of the gate and have a nightmare trip to it. And even then, I think he's all right. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen him come from behind in horrible, wet, muddy weather, right? Running through a pot of gumbo in Oaklawn Park. Yeah. So I, I don't think that uh, I don't think that's going to be a deterrent. We've seen him overcome and pass and look extremely good. So I agree. Yeah, I think essential quality. That's 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 the one that you single right here, right? And I'll Especially get. I'll be, I'll be signing. Course. I'll be signing uh, essential quality's autograph on the side of his beautiful gray uh, <laughs> coat on Saturday. I'm excited yeah. to see him. That's the best horse in the world right now. I'm excited to see him. Um, irrelevant metric. Bluegrass, Keeneland. Shout out to the slightly more famous person who had his own hidden stash mm. of murder victims' oh, bodies God. underneath of his floor. John Wayne Gacy, a.k.a. the killer clown, if you're not familiar. He would bury his uh, victims under the floor, leaving their rotting corpses uh, to rot to the point of just stench. Only months later when the cops would come and investigate Gacy, would they find that he had ripped boards out of his floor and uh, put the bodies underneath the floor, lived with them. Didn't He, he apparently didn't mind this smell. Uh, the cops had to wear gas masks to take the bodies out of there. It was so disgusting. But shout out J.W. Gacy, baby. Next, let's go. Santa Anita Derby. Moving along. Where are we? Um, <laughs> yeah. Just just your run-of-the-mill horse racing conversation. Let's go. <sighs> we, we got ourselves a, a Baffert strong race here. Uh, not his top horses, I would say. But... Baffert horses, nonetheless. Medina Spirit, Medina Spirit. If you're don't ever call him Medina. Medina Spirit. You're the only um, person in the country calling him that, by the way. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Defunded. I think I said that right. Uh, is another horse that recently just uh, broke his maiden in Santa Anita in early March. Um, so that's another another Baffert horse here. 
Dream Shake, the Yurton, San Felipe third place. Uh, I'm just a great one by Dougie O'Neill. I mean, yeah, this is we'll get down to the bottom half here. Not there's there's nothing see... thrilling here. I, I think if I were gonna pick, if I were gonna build a card here, I think Medina Spirit defunded, and then I'll take something like Rock Your World, who won the uh, Pasadena Stakes, the Saddler Horse. Um, I'll take that one. Undefeated horse, by the way. So, you know, maybe not racing against the quality that we have here, but the horse knows yeah, how to get its nose in front. So um, I'd, I'll, I'll be more apt to bet on something like that, that the yeah. unknown, than somebody like the great one who's gone out and lost <laughs> every time field before. I mean, yeah, exactly. A bunch of times. Roman Centurion, a lot of people have liked him. Um, well, he ran I, really well all uh, the time before last ran. Exactly. Second by a nose. I can't remember. I'm drawing blanks. It was in San Diego at some point. It was. Um, was it concert yeah. tour? I don't know. Against concert tour. That sounds right. Um, I'm sure, someone's screaming at us right now. I don't, I don't right think now, it is but, right, but yeah. Effort. But most recently, had a fourth place finish and and hasn't sealed a win to put him over the top yet. Medina Spirit, though, um, I do like Medina Spirit for the win. We've had him up pretty high before. Last time out, came in second place, so he dropped for us um, at San. We Felipe. both have him in the top ten. Yeah, we both him at the bottom of the top ten, but in the top ten, I think he's a legit. Yeah, I I don't think this is going to be easy for him though, and I wouldn't be surprised if anybody in those first four horses won this race either. Who do you think challenges him? So if if we if we say he's not going to win, I think Dream Shake. If it gets the right trip, Dream Shake can win. Yeah. Other than that, I don't think anybody else can. Yeah. Yeah, I I I, I do like Rock Your World though to come in there and and maybe fill it in somewhere. Um. Somewhere in the money. That's a horse I admittedly don't know enough about to to have a comment, which is pathetic at this point. But that's okay. That's okay. It's all, all is forgiven. Um, this could be pretty interesting, but it's also not interesting in terms of whoever comes out of this is going to be a favorite. Now, it's that's not the case with this race, in yep. my opinion, at least. After this week, all we really have left is what the Arkansas Derby and uh, the Lexington at Keeneland. That's it. So. This That's is it. really this is really uh, going to establish the Derby field to me. You're going to get yeah. two or three, two or three strong horses in the Arc Derby next week. Yeah, uh, I know the Lexington will have a couple, but this is it. This is all the all the big boys outside of the two or three in the Arkansas Derby are here. So yeah. uh, we'll know everything we need to know after this weekend. Last thing, irrelevant metric. Oh, Santa Anita Derby. Yeah, sure. Is the great one. The great one. And no, we're not talking about Gretzky the Great, even though those two running back to back in weeks, and it's not the first time either. No. Uh, We're talking about the great one's daughter, Paulina, who's married to PGA golf legend Dustin Johnson, who's about the best player in the world, one of the top top two best players in the world. If you haven't seen the great one's daughter, Paulina Gretzky, Go ahead, Google that thing. You're welcome. That's it. Real simple for you. She's going to hop around on the 18th green. Congratulate old Dustin. Hopping around in a mini skirt that shouldn't even be put on uh, national television. But I'm glad it is. That's it. That's anything it. else? Anything else to close this thing out? 24 minutes in, the 10-minute rundown has become the 24-minute rundown today. <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about one of Wayne Gretzky's most impossible records to break, but, you know, oh, you, yeah. you, no. you can go straight into his daughter. That's Absolutely fine. not. Absolutely most goals in a not. season, 92. That's more than a goal per game. We're not talking point per game. They goal still do that game. hockey thing. Dude, seriously? Who are you talking to here? I'm out. Is Edmonton Oilers still a team? That's, oh, that's the only yeah, thing I remember about Gretzky. I got one of the best players in the world, Connor McDavid, but never heard of him. Okay, moving on. So moving check on. this out. Leaving for Keeneland tomorrow. Leaving for Keeneland. Peace tomorrow. on Earth. We're gonna drink beers. Hopefully, party with anybody that uh, happens to be there. And we're gonna sell some slates. Don't forget, if you're watching this video, like us, subscribe to us, be our friend, hit the subscribe button now. Yeah, we've got we've got we've also got a free. Uh, free cards coming every what Wednesday? We're gonna free start card Wednesday. Yeah, playing those out. You guys just subscribe to the channel, and we'll get you uh, free content every week. So.
thanks everybody for checking it out anything else before we close no i think that's it that's that's a nice tight 10 minutes and 24 <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> peace out we'll see you after the keeneland bluegrass steaks later everyone hey,